Well, first, I would just say if people want to check my pinned tweet on my Twitter profile, I wrote about this um, last offseason, uh, and it was an in-depth look at Mahomes' contract because I didn't realize it till they restructured it fully last year, kind of what they were going for with his deal. Uh, but I believe I cracked the code. And I said on Twitter, and some people were like acting like I didn't mention this before, but I said, I'm curious if they do the full restructure this offseason because it will 100% confirm but I thought in the fact that the Chiefs are probably going to fully restructure his deal every year. Um, Nick over at Over the Cap also made a tweet about that where he's like, the Chiefs will always dip into Mahomes' roster bonus. And that's where they'll restructure the most money. And the reason it's a bit different from Mr. Bobby over for, <laughs> where the Mets are still paying him is that um, the Chiefs, when they restructure it, can only – and this is actually a positive, can only spread out that money. They restructure over five years on Mahomes' deal. That's the maximum a restructure can be spread out over. Usually players don't have more than five years left on their contract, so it's a moot point. But Mahomes, of course, signed that 10-year extension. So the Chiefs will always get the max savings from a restructure. So what that kind of does is it'll create a cascading restructure effect eventually, where when they restructure one year, um, five years ago, the restructure they did will be falling off, actually. So it's kind of like they'll never, because if it didn't do that and it just always pushed it towards the end, they would be like a, a $100 million actual salary cap charge that they couldn't get out of. Um, but that's not how it works. So we'll see. The Chiefs continue to dip into Mahomes' deal this year. Um, full restructure would put his salary cap hit at 13 million before it was 35. So they would save roughly 22 million from doing that. Um, and that would already get them up to around 24 million in cap space. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> That's not bad. I see his roster bonus is just over 27 million. He's making 29 and a half in guarantees. Um, it's, it's a team friendly deal, no matter how much people, and this is one of the, the biggest things that irritates me when talking about the Chiefs. Oh, he's making half a billion bucks. He's, you know, the Chiefs can't afford to put a good team around him. I'm like, actually, he's making half a billion bucks in an unorthodox way that is still team friendly. Like, I know that it's kind of a juxtaposition to say, oh, well, you know, this is a team friendly contract, but he's making half a million or half a billion bucks. It's over 10 years. The market is going to dictate stuff like that. Really, 50 million average annual value by the end of that contract is going to be not just commonplace, but really a steal for a guy of his caliber. I mean, right now, Josh Allen got what 45 or was it a little bit less than that? I think it was 43. Okay. So still he's getting a crap ton of money. Um, and the Patrick Mahomes deal, the chiefs can and probably should dip into it every year and get a little mm -hmm. bit of funds from it. Um, this is an interesting off season man, where they yeah. can do a bunch of stuff um, with that. But I think it starts and probably ends as well with being able to get some of that money back. Yeah. And to be clear, there's a few things. Um, one, Mahomes will see that money, even though they restructure them, because it turns the money into a signing bonus, which is paid out as soon as possible to the player. Yep. So, and the interesting thing about his contract is these roster bonuses are usually due around like the first to seventh day of the new league year which is like march 16th this year so it's basically being paid at the same time um and it's, i think they set it up like this so clark hunt knew when he had to write a check to mahomes each year um because if it was a base salary they would have to wait till the actual season because those are the game checks but if it's roster bonus he knows i owe mahomes 27 million dollars in march this year um even if we restructure so there's that thing and then the other thing is Annual per year. I know you just said that because everybody else references it, but annual per year is so useless in the NFL. Yeah. Like it's, it's useful in like baseball and basketball where these contracts are fully guaranteed. Um, and the, I don't think there is restructuring in those sports either, Not but in football, the, the contract structures they have in place means that there's so much fake money in these yeah. contracts that can be moved around so much that average per year is just useless. And like well, when we talk about Orlando Brown later, um, I'll illustrate that. And I showed that in a, in the article about him too, how like a hundred million dollar deal isn't a hundred million dollars. 
Yeah. And people get so caught up in the sticker value of these contracts yeah. and comparing it to the highest paid. I'm like, A, it's not ever the highest paid. It's the most recently highest paid. <laughs> the market is going to change every year, every contract. They're talking also, about like uh, said, They're talking about Derek Carr getting 40 million a year. I, yes. know, I just said. And, and everyone's would, like, oh my God, 40 million. I'm like, it's not actually, it's not as bad as people think. It never, ever, ever right. is. Unless your GM's just like a complete uh, doofus or something. Yeah. If they signed Derek Carr to a $40 million a year contract, his first two years, he would probably make probably $18 million this year, maybe mm-hmm. 30 the next. And then after that, it would go up. But you know what's also going to go up in those three years of salary cap? So yeah. um, these contracts always hedge. Now, the one thing that's interesting is these teams bet on the salary cap going up with these deals, for sure. That's been baked in the last decade or so. Um, and so if it continues to go up, that's fine. It seems like it will because NFL revenue is crazy right now. And then players got more revenue share for the salary cap in the last CBA. Um, but if it ever like plateaus or starts going down, teams like the Chiefs who are betting on it going up will have issues. Now, I don't think that'll happen while Mahomes is the Chiefs quarterback. So we'll see on that front. It'll probably be a while till something like that happens. But that's just a note to consider when you're thinking about salary cap math. 